What's going on, Marvelinians? Banner Real Mr. Marvelades here, okay. and we are doing the top 10. <laughs> uh, top 10 cartoons of uh, our choice. So, we are going to do top 10. We each got 10 this time around, so mm -hmm. I'm going to be kicking it off. First one, top 10, The Jetsons. Classic original. Is that your number 10 or your number 1? Number 10. My oh, number 10, okay. Number 10. I was just asking. Children, all right? All right. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Anyways, um, top ten is The Jetsons. The Jetsons was an awesome 90s TV show, 80s TV show, older TV show. I don't even no, know. That's, I was going to say, that's... No, it was like in the 60s, dude. Yeah, whatever. Anyways, <laughs> it was an awesome TV show. George Jetson, the robot, um, just like advanced time. It was just it was awesome. It was always entertaining. It was like a great storyline. It was just awesome. It was a classic Number 10 for you? Uh, number 10? I was going to pick... Uh, uh, I had a hard time picking between Dexter's Laboratory and the Pop-Up Girls, but I'll just go with Dexter's Laboratory. Dexter's Laboratory? Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, number 9 for me is uh, The Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. That one was awesome. You know, they, they lived oh, with... Yeah. Uh, what was it? The Grim no, Reaper? They, no, they, 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 had, they lived with their parents. Grim Reaper was like their... The Grim yeah. Reaper was like their protector or everything. Really, no, it was or, his best friend forever. Yeah, <laughs> which, which was awesome. Like, I thought it was a, it was a great yeah. uh, idea. Uh, it was so, like Maxwell or something like that. Something like that. Uh, but yeah, that. Um, it, was, it was very... It was an awesome show. They traveled to the underworld. Mm, uh, pretty, I like yeah. dark jokes. It was a, that yeah. guy and the... Uh, it was pretty awesome. I like that show. So yeah, it's pretty dark for something that was like a kid a show. Kid show, yeah. It was really <laughs> dark, but yet really comical. Yeah, I loved it. Though. Yeah, I did so, love it. Number nine. Oh, number nine. Yeah, that one. That one. Uh, Cow and Chicken was my number nine. Oh, shit. Yeah, I was good. There's I, so many good ones. Yeah, I just, no, I just notables. Yeah. Notables. Here yeah. are my notable ones. Ren and Stimpy. That was actually going to be number Ren nine. Ren and Stimpy that was are my, notable. They, yeah. they weren't on for a long time. That's why I didn't put them in there, but like Ren is Stimpy, the stupidity, but the humor behind it was just, you could tell, yeah. you know, but as a kid, it kept you intrigued. And then Cow and Chicken obviously was for me, but, yeah. you know, I I was into it, but then I wasn't, so. Yeah, it's kind of, if you're not familiar with Cow and Chicken, it's kind of similar to Ren and Stimpy. I just liked it better because they had the devil on there just had me roll. Even when I was a kid to today, I would always laugh with the devil, dude. He was just like yeah. always showing his butt around and going, oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Uh, oh. Notable. Uh, <laughs> Binky and the Brain. That one's notable. Binky and the Brain. Binky and the Brain, yeah. <laughs> they, they are notable. Animaniacs, they're notable. They had their own little series for a while. Yeah. They're notable. Yeah, but your, number, is, eight, number eight. Number eight, Courage the Cowardly Dog. You know what? I, mean, I think that's mine too. I mean, I'm Courage. Really... No. No. Um, yeah, Courage was... The thing about it, and a lot of people don't see the aspect of it, is, is that Courage... Um, like, anything that showed up to his door would freak him out. But at the end, he actually faces his fears. It's so, the, it's, 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 it's yeah. the general idea that he actually faces his fears, and, like, he's really Courage. I, I think I know what he's, you're trying to say. You're trying to say is... Okay. What he's trying to... Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Anyways, I'm just saying you're not explaining it right. right? So. Anyways, that like, courage, even though he was most afraid of what was at his front door, he went and he actually faced it because he had to save his family. But at the same time, whatever was trying to like kill them was also very weird, but also very funny. So I think courage, uh, my top is at the top eight because of that reason. And I, I liked Courage. It was an awesome show. I like the old man because he's always pissed off. He's like, yeah, it's, it's sad that that guy died, dude. Yeah, yeah it sucks. Right? But yeah. at the same time, I mean, it's, it's an awesome show. If you haven't seen it, it's on Netflix. They have everything on Netflix now. So yeah, we'll take a go look check at it out. It. Yeah, yeah, go check it out. It's awesome. Um, it appeals to a younger and an older generation. So it's just, it's, it's awesome. Yeah, my, uh, what was it? Number nine? Or number eight. eight. Yeah, mine was Billy and Mandy for number eight. So I'll skip that one. Let's really explain that one. Okay, number seven. Number seven was, uh... Ooh, what was number seven? Uh, uh, See, this is why I write shit down. Johnny Bravo. Johnny Bravo. Oh, yeah. Johnny Bravo's number seven. The only reason I put it up there so high is because they didn't have enough seasons. They had, like, three or four, something yeah. like that. And well, the videos was, were, yeah. like, 20 minutes long. Mm -hmm. 
So that's why I put it up there so high. But Johnny Bravo is just like, he had too much self confidence. But that's for, what made for, it funny, though. Yeah, that's, but what, that, made it that's awesome. what I'm getting to. Is yeah. that he had too much self confidence with the ladies. Is that's just what made it so humorous. It's like he's like, you want to check me out, <laughs> you know, stuff like that. Mm -hmm. It was awesome. It was just hilarious. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, um, just the the time period of the videos and the amount of seasons they had, what they should have had, I think that's why it's number seven with me. Yeah. Well, anyway, number seven with me was uh, SpongeBob. Yeah, I still I still enjoy that. I like SpongeBob. What, you don't like SpongeBob? No, I, it's higher up on my list. Oh. No, I got better stuff on my list. I mean, SpongeBob, SpongeBob kept me... I mean, it, it got me laughing sometimes, but, I, I mean... The thing is, Patrick's it's the shit. yeah. Patrick got me rolling sometimes. Squidward, and, yeah, Squidward too. Oh man, Squidward gets me rolling so bad too sometimes. <laughs> but the thing is, is it go? It, it, this that series is going on way too long. It's still going. Well, wow, they're coming yeah. out with their second movie. Yeah, yeah, and they're making movies like yeah, they crazy. Came out with their second movie. I mean, it's it's. I mean, you're burning your candle at both ends with that. I mean, just kind of slow down. It's like with Family Guy. You, you burn your candle at all these ends. You're gonna stop being humorous after a while but then again they probably got a bunch of writers and shit like that so they, I'm sure they can get that um, get that going so. number yeah. number six on my list was Codename Kids Next Door mm -hmm. it's an original 90's TV show yeah. I love it it's hilarious it's like it's hilarious but at the same time it has a, like a serious aspect that keeps kids intrigued it's because serious it's, to kids but it's, it's funny yeah, for, us. for us yeah <laughs> looking back at it but it's like yeah. it's like you it's know, kids you, are trying yeah. to take the world and it's just I think it's hilarious. Um, and there's a bald kid running everything. So yeah, they're supposed to be based off Nigel Uno. Yeah. That's his name. So that's my number six. You know so. he's based off of Captain Picard. Yeah. Because <laughs> yeah. he's got the bald head and everything. Number six. <laughs> yeah. Anyway, oh number six, I had probably one that you picked. So yeah, Courage Comedy Dog was number six for yeah, me. Yeah, we reviewed that one. Yeah. So um, let's get that. Number five, Dexter's Laboratory. Um, the same thing, amount of time. I mean, it's higher up there because it is it is an awesome show. Like, the only thing I didn't like about it was the sister. I, I can't stand it. I like the sister. I can't she stand her. She but Mandar, a... Mandar was oh, awesome. Yeah. Mandar is just like his day, opposite. Day, day. Yeah. It's just his opposite. The dad, the mom, they actually have them in it. It's awesome, man. Yeah. So, it's, just, it's very awesome. Like, that show is just... Like, everything from the 90s you can check out on Netflix go watch these episodes they're hilarious um yeah that was my number five yeah my number five is Looney Tunes original Looney Tunes from back in the starting from the 40s to today man I mean you can't go yeah you can't go wrong with Looney Tunes it's just the whole thing like uh, it's duck season no it's rabbit season I mean it's I mean nowadays I, you, you, it, it just ages. You don't find, it ages, you don't find yeah, that comedy. It ages really well. Like it, it just the no matter how old it gets, the humor is still there. It's still funny as hell. It was actually yeah. I was actually gonna make this. Uh, Looney Tunes was actually gonna be number four, but I put something else there. And um, number four. Uh, number four. Ah, oh, man, I had it all lined up too. Um, oh, what was it? What was it? What was it? I had it lined up. Go first. No, no, no. I got it. Um, long pause. Pause for dramatic effect. Yeah. Uh, Shit. <laughs> oh, Fairly Odd Parents. Fairly Odd Parents is awesome. I mean, the stupidity of one, the smarts of another, and then they're taking they're taking some kid as their godchild. I mean, they're still they're still going with their their uh, episodes, but dear God, I the, mean, the older ones were much funnier. Yeah, the older ones back in the day were you know Icky yeah. Vicky what? and yeah. uh, uh, Chad. What's his name? I can't remember. He was like the superstar. Uh, I don't remember that. Uh, I, I I think I stopped watching it after they did that that Icky Vicky like yeah, music video. That, that show was awesome. I mean, it's uh, just it's it's comical with fairies. And I, I stuff remember like that, that Captain so. Chin or whatever his name. That was pretty funny. Yeah, uh, oh, uh, Captain Underchin. No, Megachin. Megachin. The Crimson Chin. Crimson, Crimson Chin. Chin. That's yep. his name. Crimson <laughs> Chin. Um, so, yeah, that's my number... What was that, three? That was number four. That was number four. My number four is uh, Tom and Jerry. And oh, shit. Yeah, yeah, that's my next one. The reason why I put that one above Looney Tunes... I was going to say this. I put that above Looney Tunes because Tom and Jerry... 
were able to make comedy, comedy gold without speaking. speaking yep. Yeah. That is was, the number one thing with me. Yeah. Is, that's why I put it as number three. That it's, is, it's classical. I mean, their new stuff was kind of... Uh, you can show... Over, you can over. go to freaking, like, fucking Russia or something like that and show this video to, and show them Tom and Jerry and they'll laugh with you. They don't have to speak the language at all because there's no freaking audio. Even when there is speaking, it's always, like, out of place stuff. Like, like they had Tom he, he, he went behind a wall and got blown up or something and then he pops his head over and he goes in that deep monotone voice don't you believe him it's like so random that that happened and I, and it's coming from a show that nobody speaks it it's just hilarious yeah tom and jerry is my number three i yeah. think the biggest thing with a, a comedy a uh, a comedy genius first off and then a comedical show is you make something out that doesn't have Sound, or well, somebody who's sound. not speaking, somebody who doesn't speak, they don't speak. Well, they're, they're so yeah. I mean, in the later ones, they took it and they they spoke and stuff like that, and it was here and there. I don't like that. I like the originals where it's just you know they smash each other, they're always fighting, or they become best friends to team up and stuff like that. It's yeah, it's awesome. Fight spike. Or so <laughs> that's my number three was Tom and Jerry. Mm -hmm. Okay, that was your number three. Okay, so I'll go with my number three. What was it again? Uh, oh yeah, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Yeah. That's my next Freaking, one. Yeah. Ed, Ed, and Eddie, man. Oh, that was like... <laughs> yeah, that, that, that show... That's the only cartoon, I think... Well, no, besides the ones above that, that just had me fall off the couch laughing. Like, I laughed so hard, I cried. Especially when, uh... When, what's his name? Double D got... Like, he turned into a... He, he, he like, touched his boomerang and became a stripper. <laughs> that shit was... That shit... They got away with so much crap on that show, dude. I mean, they were talking about, oh, man, I don't remember. Yeah, my, my number two is that Ed and Eddie. It was just hilarious because Ed made the, or, uh, oh, Ed, Ed made the show, pretty much. Yeah. Ed was the one who was like, oh, no, come I about think, dog, guys. I think yeah. every character made every the character, show. Though. Every character did, I but John, Eddie. I mean, Johnny Ed, would have me a little one, Ed, too. Ed was the one who just had that, like, re retardation. His eyes, his unibrow. Just it made Smashing him smashing his head against yeah, the like, ground. It just made and talking about like uh, aliens from like stuff. buttered toast land and stuff like that. He just he made the show what it was, and every character did like they all pitched their parts in. But Ed yeah, was, was just perfect. a little bit above that, and that's I, what I like. Yeah. I think I, I like Rolf better than Ed though. Rolf Rolf, Rolf was, had me rolling. Yeah, sometimes. he from uh, what country was he from? No, they didn't. They, that's the surprise. You don't know what country. Yeah, he's from. you don't know where like, he's he, from. His he his moral values. Food. His moral values are just crazy. Like you uh -huh. know, back in my country, we would beat you with a a, a shoe and then you eat sausage <laughs> yeah. and all that. It, it was ridiculous. We don't celebrate Christmas, but we eat like a bunch of food or something. Yeah, like some that. stupid like that. So that that was my number two. Well, they celebrate Christmas by eating food. And they don't yeah. get presents. That was yeah. pretty funny. And oh yeah, and then all their specials too were really good. That was, that was the only cartoon that had really good specials. Like I actually look forward to the to the episodes that that inspired like Christmas and stuff like that. You know what's funny about Christmas is that they had this the what's it called? Um, they had the scene that was uh what's it called? What is, what is that called with like baby Jesus in the in the major scene the major scene yeah they had the major scene and then like pretty much like a raping afterwards it's like what the because <laughs> the canker sisters like just basically they grabbed him and yeah they drag him away and stuff and, oh well, i'll just leave it at that um you're number two. Oh, number two was oh yeah invader zim yeah, yeah. invader i mean that's another that's another show that just got away with a bunch of crap, dude. It was, but it was awesome, and I love stuff like that. Or it's just like, and the and the, anim, and the the style, the drawing style, and stuff like that. And um, the guy who created it, he uh, he used to work for uh, I think it was Black Horse or something. No, he, I don't know if it was independent or I think it was independent. He was on his own with a, making a comic book called uh, Johnny the Hom Homicidal Maniac. And freaking Nickelodeon's like, hey, let's get this this guy who makes a super violent comic book and have him do a kids show, and it just came out freaking perfect. <laughs> What's your number two? Uh, I did. My oh, number you're two. doing number two. Number one is SpongeBob. Um, I think uh, for, I think for as long as it's ran, it, it still has the humor behind it. I mean, their their movies are awesome. 
Yeah. Um, the old stuff is awesome. I love their their movies are like just outstanding. Um, but their episodes are awesome. Patrick and Squidward and SpongeBob, I think, are the best three team up I've I've seen in a long mm-hmm. time. I mean, besides The Simpsons, um, but that's all like a that's a it's, different it's, genre. It's not a different genre. It's just it doesn't appeal to the same audience exactly. But I mean, like King of the Hill and. Um, like the team up of characters, like SpongeBob just has the right team up, and um, like Larry the uh, the Lobster, and you know um, oh, I Pearl. About, yeah, and, I forgot about them. Um, Sandy. Sandy, just Sandy's all those guys. Favorite. Yeah, they, <laughs> they make the show what it is, and I just think it's it's it appeals to a it appeals to every audience. I think really, if you just sit down and actually watch it. Um, but yeah, I just think it's it's. It's hilarious, honestly, and it's still going. It's going on for about 10, 20 years now. So, yeah. it's something that still have that original flavor, um, like The Simpsons. I mean, they're still going 20, 25 years now. Um, something that has that original flavor is just crazy, and I think it's awesome. Anyway, I, I personally, I like, I like series that are short because that way they can move on to, to other things. Because I'm sure, sure they got other ideas and stuff. Well, anyway, my number one is. Uh, Animaniacs, dude. I mean, that's where I give credit. Yeah. I, I didn't like them because of how short it was and yeah, how it long was, it wasn't on the air. That's why I give it. It's it's. Uh, I mean, the, they, it's they recognition. It. it gets its yeah. recognition because of that. Just like uh, the other ones I mentioned, mm-hmm. I just didn't like it because it was so short. Yeah, I mean, they they lasted long enough for me. They lasted just enough to make because every every episode was funny. Every single one, it was just absolutely hilarious. There's, they haven't made one bad show. And then it's not even like uh, they're making... It's a show that has multiple series in it. It's got it's got the original Animaniacs. It's got Pinky and the Brain in there. It's got um, the Good Feathers and... Um, what's what's uh, the... They got uh, the Ant Squirrel thing. What's her name? I forgot her name. Um, yeah, it's just... And, and then they have they have these little shorts in there that just make it even better because it's it appeals to everybody. You got this little kid that comes out randomly, he just comes out, talks all funny. He's like, okay, one time my dad he left the shower open, and then g- goodbye, and then he just leaves, and it's just I don't know, just stuff like that just makes me laugh. I so, just, and that's what I love about it. And then you got the of course the anime, and then the uh, the with. Um, What's his name? Yakko, Wacko, and Dot, and they always make a song out of. They can make a song out of anything. They got the. They got the freaking dictionary and made a song out of the dictionary. Now that takes some talent. Yeah. And some. Yeah. So, that's uh, top ten. Top ten choices for me and Banderill. Um. Yeah. If you want to go on Netflix, get a Netflix account if you don't have one already. Go we check it to, out. We need to get paid by Netflix for all this. Yeah, no, oh, this advertisement, Netflix, Netflix, eight dollars yeah. an hour or eight yeah. dollars a day, whatever. Um, yeah, go on Netflix. Check out the original series that we uh, named. They're awesome. They're hilarious. I mean, yeah, that was what we grew up on. Nineties cartoons. Tom and Jerry just is unspeakable because you can make a cartoon out of not speaking, mm-hmm. and that takes talent. So um, it's all done by one person too. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I can't remember his name. I think it was like Tommy Lee. I don't know. I don't Tommy remember. Lee or something like that. Credit to you, my man, because you made a series that made our entire childhood, and we just watched something that did not speak. So that is awesome. But that's our top ten, guys. Um, check them out on Netflix. Go watch those. Post in the links below if you agree with our list or disagree. Let us know. Um, remember to subscribe, like, favorite, all that good stuff, share. And, um, yeah, top ten pretty freaking awesome yeah. tune in next time for our next video guys you guys all have a great uh, awesome week and make sure you check out the other videos in the next screenshot and remember to subscribe